property that we're on here is the old Stoll Dairy Farm that was started in about 1953. 97, we ended up buying it. We looked around and we said, what are we gonna do here? Well, we figured, let's grow grapes. Actually, it was my wife's idea and she hates me for t saying that. But um, we did. So the first vineyard we dug was 250 vines, just as an experiment of four different kinds. And just to see what grade of winter cold these vines might take. It turns out everything grew quite well. Most of the wines that we make are on the drier side. Our grapes are Vignoles and Chamberson, and we have uh, Riesling, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Cabernet Franc. People do like to come to Lalore, especially in the summer, of course, to see the view. And if you can see out where I'm pointing to out here, the last ridge on a clear day is Pennsylvania, so it's quite far. There's another important thing about that view. It's not just a view. This is a long two-mile hill that we're on. When you are on a hill like this, the warm air is up top, but the cold air is down, but the warm air is sliding down in. And as that warm air slides in, it protects those grapes. The Loire Vineyards, was, uh, the name came from that of my grandmother's maiden name. She was French from the Loire Valley, and we of course wanted to take that as the representation of La Loire in Parkman, Ohio. So the wine we're most proud of at Lalore is our Cabernet Franc. It's got that big, bold, spicy flavor with hints of plum and dark cherry. The favorite white wine at Lalore is probably our Three Dog White, named after our three dogs, Merlin, Riesel, and Maxie. And they are our greeters. All three of these have their roots with Marco Vineyards. Arnie Estra is breeding these guys up in Conneaut, Ohio, another winemaker. Come on, Max. We are a rather small winery, but we do believe in the traditional winemaking process. We also believe that quality starts from the grapes, so we insist on growing all of our own grapes and making wine from them right here on the property. 